Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, in today's video we got a new project um, Well, I've actually had it for a while, but uh, it's just been sitting and I really like this thing So uh, I just really want to get it going. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I'll show you guys what we got All right, so as you see, this is a uh, KLX 110 that I've had for a couple of years now. Um, I actually bought it for 200 bucks off this guy. Um, the plastics were all spray painted, uh, it looked really rough, um, had a rear or a flat rear tire, uh, just like it does now, uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, he had the title on it, so it wasn't stolen. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up for 200 bucks. Uh, I think it's a great deal. Um, clean the carb and it started right up so yeah uh, and then I popped the tire um, that one a while back and it's just been sinning ever since um, but I finally went and got a new tire today or a new tube um, yeah so that's solid uh, I had it mounted up because I don't mess with these little pit bike tires um, so yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and throw on the tire uh, sorry about that wind noise uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the rear tire, uh, put it on, probably have to clean up the carb, uh, give this thing a good wash, because as you saw, uh, this thing is just trashed. And I do have an air filter on it, um, I just took that off for another project. But yeah, this thing is pretty sweet, so fun to ride. Um, pit bikes are a lot of fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, throw that rear tire on, uh, so we can get this thing rolling around. Then we'll give it a good wash and get the mob in there. So as you saw, we just got this tire thrown on and uh, as you can see, it's a little dirty and uh, that's because this thing actually started up. Um, I kicked it a couple times just seeing if it would actually start and it, yeah, it started up on like the fifth kick. So I was not expecting that. Um, as you can see, the carb is all dirty on the outside, but I guess it's fresh on the inside. Um, so I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and slap the uh, air filter on and then uh, I have another side plastic, um, this one broke last time I was riding it, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, slap those two pieces on, and then uh, I guess we'll take this thing for a little spin, so let's do it. Just installed this uh, flare and uh, the uni filter. Um, 
Yeah, I had to get a pod filter because I broke the, uh, well actually I didn't, but my sister broke the stock air box. And uh, if you don't have an air box, you have to have a little bracket that goes from here, this little bolt hole, um, to the mounting point. So uh, yeah, I don't want to buy that. So we're going to try to make it out of something. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but yeah, we'll give it a shot. All right, so I found an old bicycle um, seat post. Uh, it looks like it might work. Um, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, it's a little thick, but I mean, uh, at least it'll be strong. So yeah, we're gonna go in and uh, fold the ends uh, or just hammer them flat and uh, see how it turns out. All right, so this is the finished product. Um, super strong, and it actually turned out pretty clean. Um, so yeah, that should work really good. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and slap on the GoPro and uh, take this thing for a little rip. So let's get it. All right, guys, so uh, we're back here on the GoPro and uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up, let it warm up a little bit, and then uh, we'll start ripping. So let's do it. This thing feels so dope to be back on. Pit bikes are so much fun. We'll just let her warm up a little bit. Sorry about the wind noise if it's too wild, I don't even know. Nice little uh, big bike rut. Maybe we'll have to hit that. up like those uh, weeds you know thorns and uh, I just took the riding lawnmower back here kind of cleaned it up a little bit found some elevation so yeah if you guys definitely want to see more of this little like pit bike track like more clearing of all that all through here um, yeah definitely let me know I think it could definitely be something pretty sweet I'll show you guys up here I was thinking having another jump either coming this way <laughs> down onto that or I don't know something maybe a turn berm I don't know but yeah definitely need to clear this a little more um, <sighs> slope it downwards be a little more friendly you know but yeah this thing's pretty dope though a whole lot less sketchy than the uh, 
$50 pit bike, that's for sure. A little update on that. Um, yeah, it actually is in pieces right now because I ended up popping this tube, uh, the front one, and I had to take that tube and put it on here just to make the video. So yeah, a little update on that. Um, the ATC 70, I know you guys are really wanting to see some more videos on that. Uh, but the axle, as you guys know, um, is actually bent. And uh, I really can't find an axle. All the other ones I've found are like $200, so I'm really not looking to drop that kind of money on it. Um, and then tires will be like 40 bucks a piece, so yeah, kind of expensive stuff, but definitely if I find like a parts bike, then hopefully I can get that thing going again. Um, but yeah, for now we got this and uh, a couple of other projects. Now that it's starting to warm up, now we can go jet skiing and uh, ride dirt bikes and whatnot, so that'll be good. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more uh, dirt bike videos and jet ski videos, definitely leave the comment below. But yeah, yeah, this thing is so fun to wheelie. Maybe. guys this is gonna be a wrap for today's video um if you guys like this definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like because it definitely uh helps me out a lot but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching